Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm just going to give my first impression of the TNC3 APRS um, device. In this video, I'm going to give my first impression of the APRS device, the TNC3, which is a terminal node controller uh, for APRS. Now, I already have the TNC2, um, and I've just received delivery of the TNC3. So I'm going to go into a little bit of detail, not much because there's a website and there's a PDF you can download about the TNC3 that tells you the difference between the two and the three. So I'm not going to just go over what's already on the website, but this is mainly my first impression of using this new device. So for you viewers, uh, you're very lucky because not only have you got one call in the studio, you've got a second call who's currently out there in the field getting ready to do a field test. <clears throat> right, yep, yeah, thank you Carl. Uh, I'm out here. I'm just going to head to some high ground, uh, see if we can pick up any APRS signals on the uh, GT3 TP, which is a tri-power um Chinese radio <clears throat> if I could pick up some APRS then I'll plug in the TNC3 and see if we can get uh, connected up to an Android phone and uh, see if we can uh, receive and then also transmit some APRS packets so uh, stick with me I bet it's nice and warm back in the uh, in the studio there, Carl. I'll hand it back to you, and then uh, I'll come back to you when we've got some we've got some signals. See, very good, um, very very uh, intrepid reporter is Carl. Um, okay, so I just want to go into a little bit of detail about the TNC three. Uh, compared to the two. So some of the similarities are that they're actually look, they look very very similar uh, because they're using the same uh, outer casing however when you when you flip them over the TNC3 has on, on that it, it very clearly states that it's a three. Now the, some of the other differences between the two and the three uh, one of the major ones is that the actual three can now be used in iOS. The Bluetooth is now capable capable or compatible with iOS whereas the uh, TNC2 was not. Also the TNC3 you you don't have to rely on Bluetooth to connect it to a, a device or a computer you can use USB serial so that's some of the differences with the, the Bluetooth um, improved and you can also use it as a USB device as well. So the other differences are that um, the TNC3 has a number of digital signal processing improvements that helps it to work better with a wider range of radios. And for today's test, we're going to be testing the TNC3 with a, um, with a, a, a Bofang GT a radio. So some of the other differences are that uh, on the TNC3, there's a better use of the indicator lights when you're transmitting and receiving. Uh, there's a better use of the LEDs on there, so um, that gives you a better indicating, indication of the TNC uh, is working. Also, the TNC3 is um, capable of working more with packet radio, not just APRS. So, this is m a much uh, wider uh, performance um, and um, capability of working not only with APRS but also with a range of packet um, modes as well. The battery life on the TNC3 apparently can last up to two days. I've not tested this yet but uh, we could have up to um, two days um, of receiving where how much that changes when you're transmitting and uh, it doesn't make it clear on the site. So one of the things I wanted just to emphasize in this video about APRS is that it still is a very, very useful and fun mode to use. Now, I know that APRS can be associated purely with beaconing 
and tracking people's movements or ob movement of objects but it's actually far more than just those features um, you know you can send messaging you can update bulletin boards you can communicate with groups of people there's a, quite a number of features and some of my past videos I actually demonstrate some of those features which are very useful especially if you're working in areas that have patchy um, mobile coverage and in the UK we, we have uh, Wales and Scotland and areas like that that you, know, you can be without a mobile connection especially a data connection so APRS uh, still has uh, you know, its usage or its uses um, <clears throat> even in, in, in countries like the UK now also there's many, uh, plenty of amateur satellites that are using APRS so you don't just have to work on 144.800 to actually um, have some form of APRS. You can pick up um, the APRS packages from um, a lot of amateur uh, satellites and I believe that the uh, International Space Station uh, has now got the APRS fixed. I do believe it was um, it was not working for a while, but I think the even the space station has APRS um, uh, operational again. But please just check online to make sure that that is uh, that is the case. Okay, so that's some of the technical differences between the two. Um, with, with same as between the two and the three, when you buy them, you just get the unit. You do not get the cables. You have to you have to purchase them separate. So um, don't forget when you're buying the TNC three, you have to think about the radio you want to connect it to. But also, and it's something that I have some frustration with, when when the TNC three arrives into the UK, you will have to pay customs charges and it will be held in customs and in my case I, pay, I paid the customs charges but there was a glitch with the Royal Mail um, customs payment system so I paid the money but they didn't have a reference number on their system until I rang up as an angry uh, angry man I rang up twice and then all of a sudden they generated a reference number and I could get I could go and pick up the device so I had a few frustrations with the postage and packet with the customs charges not with the supplier the uh, supplier was the communication when you buy the uh, TNC 3 is very good you, you can track it and uh, you also get text messaging from the supplier as well in the US so that's a mobile linked TNC 3 um, which it, I'll, I'll put the website on, on, the, on the video as well so I'm just going to hand over to Carl <sighs> Right, yes, thank you, Carl. We've arrived at a uh, location here. We've started to pick up some APRS now, so I'm going to plug in the uh, the TNC3 adapter, uh, which has on it a connector designed uh, to go into these radios. Just going to put this down over here. Let's connect this up now to the TNC. Uh, we should be able to send uh, our position. Right, yeah, we've now sent out uh, our first beacon. Here we go, yeah, so I've just uh, sent a message, a message to the weather bot, and we have got a weather report that tells me we've got a 68% chance of rain um and yeah um and the pressure has started to uh, uh build up here as well so we have got rain coming in it's up to 68 percent rain now so we have successfully sent a um a beacon we're now receiving aprs uh, packets we've got g6 um yrk um and we have just sent a message uh, to the bot and that sent us their local weather to this location as well okay so um yeah it looks like um the the tnc3 works very well with the the bofang 
Um, I know from my uh, test of the TNC2 with the Bofang, I had some issues with that, some difficulties. However, the TNC3 seems to work much better, especially when you're out and about um, uh, doing a, especially when you're out and about um, and you haven't got the time for uh, messing about and trying to get setups perfect. Um, so the, the TNC3 is much more compatible with a range of radios and inputs and outputs. So uh, first impressions, um, it, it works well in the field on the first test. I've not uh, tested packet radio yet. Um, I also have not taken it for an overnight uh, adventure to give it a good thorough um, 12 or 24 hour test but that will be coming up soon as well but um, it, the, the, the beauty about the mobile link TNC devices are that they provide an opportunity for people who may be on um, who may want to try and keep their budgets um, low, it does offer the opportunity to um, enable APRS for ham upper, ham. <clears throat> the, the, the advantage of the TNC 2 and 3 is that it enables um, the, the use of APRS transmitting and receiving for ham radio operators uh, who may want to be keeping who want to keep a low budget. The beauty about the TNC, the beauty about the advantages of the TNC 2 and 3 is that they, um, the advantages of the mobile link TNC 2 and 3 is that it enables hammer radio operators on a budget to get into the APRS and packet uh, modes as well especially TNC3 that also allows people who are on iOS to also start using the device as well. So all in all uh, it's a, a handy device to have um, compared to buying a, an expensive APRS uh, handheld if you've already got a, a radio such as um, you know, one of the non APRS handhelds uh, uh, for about $130, maybe about one. So for about $150, um, you you could then um, turn that radio or even your base station radio. <clears throat> or you, so for about $150, so for about $150, you can um, turn your handheld or your mobile radio or even your base station radio into APRS capable as well so it's well worth the investment and lots of fun to have with APRS as well as the serious side of it as well uh, it's good to have in the boot of the car the ability to communicate uh, in when those matters arise when you're off grid as well so that's it for now I hope this first impression video was useful please leave comments and uh, i will go into more detail about the tnc3 and also how to set one up uh, in future videos and uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, if you've not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button it really helps to uh, to develop the channel so that's it for now i look forward to the next one bye, -bye for now